This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Thursday, March 20th. I'm James Spann. Uh, gorgeous weather coming up tomorrow, probably Saturday as well. But then we turn cool and wet on Sunday and really chilly air settles in here by the middle of next week. And some interesting model output uh, around Tuesday of next week. A lot to talk about here. So let's go in there and take a look. Let's begin with some Skycam shots around the network this afternoon. First off, coming from Cheehaw State Park in East Alabama. The sky there bright and sunny as we look down the spine of the Talladega National Mountains. Look at the Fayette County Courthouse up in northwest Alabama, and the Gulf Coast looks A-OK. -okay. You're beachbound for spring break. It's our Gulf Shore Skycam, by the way. Uh, sunny days, fair nights through Saturday. On the immediate coast, it's going to be cooler because of the cool ocean. The water temperatures only in the upper 50s and low 60s, so highs on the immediate coast will be in the low to mid 60s. A few showers are likely down there Sunday, Monday, maybe Tuesday. The rest of next week should be dry, but pretty chilly. In fact, pretty cold at night, as you'll see. There's a water vapor satellite view, nice uh, dry air mass across the southern states. And yes, indeed, it feels good today. Everybody in the 60s around here, mid-60s. Down to the south, we see low 70s for Montgomery, Auburn. And around the nation, temperatures are looking about where they should be for the first official day of spring. The vernal equinox was earlier today, shortly before noon. On the watch warning map, pretty quiet. Winter storm warnings up on the Canadian border. A few red flag warnings around, but again, things are nice and quiet. No severe weather expected over the next uh, five days. This is day three's outlook, which is Saturday. No severe weather expected, uh, but some thunder possible west of Alabama. And the rain for the next five days. This carries us through Tuesday morning of next week, uh, suggesting about a quarter inch here. And a pretty good chunk of that will come on Sunday, maybe Monday, maybe Tuesday morning. Take a look at the GFS. This is the 12Z run, valid at 1 o'clock local time tomorrow afternoon at 500 millibars. Sharp short wave up north uh, coming into the Great Lakes. Little energy in Texas, but around here it's going to be just a gorgeous day. I mean, really nice. Sunny with highs up in the uh, low to mid-70s. We'll be somewhere between 72 and 75. Just gorgeous. And again, Saturday looks good. This is the uh, output Saturday afternoon. There could be a few showers over the northwest corner of the state, but the bulk of Alabama during the day Saturday should be dry and very mild. Hey, the NAM is showing 77 for Birmingham. The GFS is 75. And a few showers will likely slip in here Saturday night in advance of that front. And then Sunday looks pretty wet. Uh, this is Sunday at 1 o'clock. The Cold front moving on down to the south. We have rain uh, near and behind the front, and it's going to be much cooler, I think, from Birmingham north. Highs only in the 50s. And again, clearly we'll have some rain uh, late Saturday night into Sunday, at least Sunday morning. Now, Monday, this run dries us out. It's suggesting the front will be far enough south for just a, a relatively dry day on Monday. Probably cloudy, cool, highs around 60. And then Tuesday, the trough begins to sharpen up over the east. In response to that, a deep surface low begins to form that's located just east of Savannah with rain moving back in here. And, yeah, that's, uh, that's snow. Your eyes aren't deceiving you. This is the GFS suggesting we're going to see snow uh, late Monday night or Tuesday morning over the northwest part of Alabama, places like Muscle Shoals, Athens, Moulton, maybe Huntsville. Then snow up into Tennessee around Gatlinburg, Pigeon Forge, Knoxville, Bristol. And uh, again, we're not going to forecast this at this point, uh, but we find that interesting. And uh, here's the snow depth coming off the GFS in midday Tuesday. It puts down a little light uh, snow uh, for the northern third of the state, basically along and north of U.S. 278. Wouldn't that be something? And really, uh, the, the European is quite uh, similar in its look. Uh, this is... The European valid at 6 o'clock Tuesday morning. Same deal. It's got a deep surface load that's east of Savannah. Uh, the thermal fields on the European are warmer, so it's just got all rain here. And the European has the accumulating snow uh, mainly over North Carolina, Virginia, and the far northeastern tip of Tennessee. And we'll kind of roll with this solution for now. And we can make adjustments as we get closer if uh, need be. This is uh, Tuesday at uh, midday. Uh, 1 o'clock coming off the uh, 
GFS, and it's got the surface low moving northeast, and the precipitation is winding down. But that's going to be a very uh, chilly day. Up in the Tennessee Valley, they'll be in the 40s all day. Uh, down this way, the high would be in the 50s with a good steady north wind. Be kind of a raw day. So uh, we'll probably go ahead and f- move in this direction, uh, maybe – Uh, Not mentioned much rain during the day Monday, but a good chance of rain Monday night into Tuesday morning with this feature. And uh, Monday and Tuesday look very cool for spring. And then this is Wednesday of next week. We're dry. Wednesday morning is going to be cold. There are the anomalies. And again, I think we go in the 20s early Wednesday. Uh, A late season freeze. Uh, Totally expected. Uh, I tell people if you want to be safe, don't plant anything until tax day, April 15th. We've had big snows in the first week of April here before, so having a freeze in late March is really not that odd. And by the way, look at what the uh, GFS does with that storm uh, on Wednesday. Wow. Uh, that, that's a look at the uh, wind field, and that, that's got a 977 millibar low with winds almost a hurricane force around that thing. But thank goodness the, the bulk of that thing is offshore. And here's Thursday, a week from uh, today. Uh, still looks uh, pretty cool. Start the day maybe around freezing, but we should go back in the 60s, and the sky should be mostly sunny. Go out there deeper into the period. This is April 3rd, evidence of a cold front coming in. The end of the forecast, April 5th, deep low south of Phoenix, ridging here, and that would be dry and mild. And again, the good news, no sign of any severe weather threats into the first five days of April. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes in the blog next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you can, catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News, the live stream of the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful evening, and God bless.